Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're headed out nice and early. Ugh, looks like my glasses are dirty. I hate these glasses, you guys. Did you just hate them. Every time I wash them, the it's like this cheap plastic instead of glass and it's hard to clean them. But anyways, we're headed out because it's somebody's birthday in two more days. It's somebody's birthday who loves rope toys. Rope toys are her favorite toy. toys. Squeaky toys are her she favorite. Actually, that is the truth. She loves squeaky toys, but they only last her two seconds while she rips it apart and breaks the squeaker. So then the toy that she falls back on after she's done with the squeaky toy are the rope toys. And people in our comment section have pointed out recently how dangerous they are. And I have worried about that because the strings sometimes get caught in their teeth and I worry about them being ingested and then wrapping around intestines and stuff. So today, on the advice of one of you guys, we are gonna do something special for Molly's birthday. Have you guys ever lost your phone when it's in your hand? One time I was watching my movie that I downloaded and we were in the car and I was yelling at my mom because I thought she still had it in her purse. And really it was in her hand. I'm sure it's happened to everybody, Sophie. Well, I was watching my movie that whole time though. <laughs> so last night, Ellie peed on me for the very first time and I didn't even care. So we went to riding lessons and I put her in her crate. She was there from about 5.30 till 8 30 and she was really good she's really good in her crate but when we get home she's always super excited like super excited and it's like the one time where she misses me so much that when I show up she gives me the most affection ever she like kisses me and puts her face inside me and she's jumping all over my body she's that excited so we got home she also probably had to pee because she was in the crate for that long. Sophie got her out of the crate and was holding on to her and she was kissing and loving on Sophie and then she tried to jump out of Sophie's arms to get to me so I took her and instead of putting her down and letting her go pee, I just kept loving on her because I'm so addicted to that feeling and uh, yeah, she had to pee so bad and she was so excited that she just peed all over me and I didn't even care. That's how much I love this dog. I just kept loving on her even though she peed on me and then changed after. She peed on me before too. Yeah, she's peed on Sophie before too, just because she gets so excited. Ellie is an excited peer. Not all the time, not very often, but every once in a while, she just gets so excited, and if she has to pee, it's just coming out. Right now? It has to be felt. Oh, Why? Gabby wants Spider-Man. Oh, so, so we're here to get felt to make our own rope toys. Oh, because felt, you can cut with you. So you can cut this and it's softer. Wait, is this some down here? Oh, this might be better. Oh, this one. This is better. Wait. I'm blue. All right, so we have blue and yellow. All right, so this is what we need. Wait, is this what no, we need? this is what we need. I forget. <laughs> this is not what we need. Oh, wait, never mind. That's all right, so I can only find three colors. I love looking through the craft section. We are not super crafty people, but I love crafts and I like trying them. I'm just not crafty. So I also think we should get something like to cut them. Like something like that would be cool, but that's a little bit too much stuff. So we decided to come to another store. It's all fabric. I want like really cute colors. I want pink. Yeah, that is not what we need. I dare you. Just joking. No, no. Stop it, Sophia. Embarrassing. All right, we found it, but there's no pink. Blue, red, greens. I have two that I might do. Could I get two colors? I don't even know if this is the right material. I am not good at crafting. Yeah, you have to get two colors. Yeah, that's cute. That pink with the giraffes and koalas. Okay. And then I need, oh, that's this. And then I need a solid color. Yeah, this is all it. So, okay, so and that's I such a good a idea. Color. All right, let me go see. Okay, so I love that. So, you could get like this, and then a solid color. So you need a solid and a, all right, so they have light pink. Oh, there's the pink that I like right here. All right, I'm gonna get this one. Oh, help, oh, crap, can't handle. My big giant purse. All right, this is nine dollars a meter. So soft. Oh, so I get it out, and Gabby's like, "I'm taking this one. I'm getting that one too." So this is the color I want to make, and this is kind of what I want to make. 
So I'm going to get like a light blue. Light blue and light pink. Okay, you want to see my colors? All right, let's see your colors. Yellow and white, I think. All right, yeah, because that's Daisy's color, yeah. right? But not this lemon color. It's yellow. That's really bright. Do we want like something feminine and pretty? No. Okay, so I'm going to get light blue. Let's see. So I could get these colors. I don't really like that blue, though. I actually like the... Oh, wait a minute. That's better. All right, so you're doing pink and gray. Oh, I love pink and gray. I might do that, too. Let's see. If we do all different colors... No, I can't copy you. We do different colors. This and a different color. You want that one? And what color? Pick one of the... No, you have to do it different colors. Pick a, that, another color from that. Look at it. See how it's got all those different colors? Pick the yellow. See the yellow? Well, oh. I have to match it. All right, so what if I do purple and pink? Wait, do that That would be really one? cute. What if I do a light pink? No, because I'm going to do And dark that. pink, dark pink. Well, that's pretty. I want it, like, light. All right, I think I'm going to do light pink and dark pink. I also really love this corally kind of color too. I always get confused, like, do I like this color better or pink? But I do like pink better. I'm gonna get one, and it's gonna be the wrong color, and I don't like it. So I gotta pick the one I don't like, and I don't like it. No, we'll just pick one. All right, here, take them up there, let's go. Wait, do they have a lighter gray than that? Uh, no. I don't even know if we're buying the right material, but we're gonna try it. The minute you bring home a, a project and you wanna cut, your material you have a problem this is what having a puppy is like but also i wanted to tell you guys that we crossed a bridge yesterday let me see your face does it look so funny we crossed a bit <laughs> we crossed a bridge yesterday she actually is letting me groom her well she always let me brush her but she's starting to let me trim her i found a way to make it pleasurable for her and that works for her she's letting me put her hair in a ponytail i still need help sophie holds her while i do it but it's working. Everything is working. We got Gabby over here cutting her material. So yeah, basically, I yeah, I don't think it matters if you're perfect. We're not a perfect family. Everybody knows. Nope, it doesn't matter. So uh, we're getting ready to cut them. And then all it is is a series of a, of a specific kind of knot. So you just knot these things together and then you make a toy. So that's what we're doing. I'm making one that's big and then I'm making one for... Ellie. So one for Molly for her birthday. It's her birthday tomorrow. And then I'm making a smaller one for Ellie. And I might even make another smaller one. Here's an example of what we're trying to create. It's just a rope toy. I'd love to be able to throw all these rope ones out. They're just so annoying. Every morning when I wake up, there are ropes, strings all over my whole house. There are also squeakers all over my whole house broken squeakers. I saw on Amazon you can buy these. We're thinking about like adding squeakers to them as well. So there's that. And then also broken chew toys. This is one of Ellie's favorite toys. And for any of you guys who are wondering, when I said I'm going to put this toy around the table so that nobody can take it away, so she always has a toy here. As you notice, there's not many toys here. This toy always stays and she does play with it and she does chew it. And it's already a toy and we haven't finished it yet. Could I have okay. it back, please? Now what do I do? Could I have it? <laughs> We're going to learn to tie it. That's going to be the hard part, okay, tying how it. how do I tie it? Give it back. <laughs> Get away. Oh, my gosh. Help. <laughs> oh, no. Ellie, <laughs> give it back. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so far. I'm actually going to sew these pieces so that this is like a handle you can hold. like a, That's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a handle so you could pay, play like a tug toy. And then this is what it looks like. It's made out of fleece. So glad we decided to go to a different store. It's so tight and so strong. I'm gonna show you guys how we did it. Like this is, I still have all this to go. But this is what it looks like, you guys. These are so easy to make. Thank you so much to the person who suggested it. Um, Sophie's in love with it. She like is in love with it. You can see where my first ones I didn't pull tight enough. Sophie said that's the same with hers. Then I got tighter down here. I'm going to show you guys everybody's when we're done, but these are going to be for Ruby or for Molly for her birthday. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Basically, it's just a series of knots. It's so easy. Like Sophie even picked it up. And, and I'm a young blonde. 
<laughs> she's a dumb blonde. She just said that to me. So basically you just fold these over two of them at the same time so that it looks like this. And then this last one you tuck through this little knot here. It's hard for me to show. And then, so then once you fold, once you put this one through the knot, all you do is tighten it. You just tighten it as much as you can. You pull these two sides at the same time, these two sides at the same time. Let's see if I can get it. There. And so once you get the hang of it, see how pretty it is? Once you get the hang of it, you can like literally watch a movie and do this. And it wouldn't even take that long to get it done, but it is so gorgeous. Like, on one thing, Sophie's watching a movie. Sophie's in, the, Sophie's in the dining room doing hers. But what's really cool about this is that I don't mind having ropes, rope toys around and they get all messy if they're pretty. But like the ones that we have look like that. And look like that. Like, they're never pretty. Like this is so pretty and it feels like a rope. We finished. It was a little bit. We learned a lot making them. So this is mine. I'll show you my mistakes. First of all, I made too big of a knot up here. I should have pulled it tighter. And then I started out really big. I didn't pull as tight at the top. And then when I got to the middle, I started pulling tighter. So it's a little bit thinner here. So then I went back to how I was doing it. So it would be kind of more balanced. And then at the end, I found tying this last knot really hard. So I had to undo it a little bit. But that's my rope that I made. So that's going to be for Molly for her birthday. And then Gabby pulled hers really tight. I don't even know how you got yours so tight. It looks like a totally different pattern. Doesn't it look like a totally different pattern? But this is Gabby's, and it's longer than mine. Because she didn't cut hers. It turns out that you literally have to use a lot of material to get a big one. So that's Gabby's, the gray and the pink, and it's a thinner one. Super cute. And then this is Sophie's, and she had the same problem as I did. She didn't really understand the whole how tight to pull until she got down here she started pulling tighter so when we make new ones we're probably going to end up pulling them super tight right Stop. from the start Stop. so uh, do you I'm like the, the, uh, new do you like the colors that you chose though no you don't like the colors that you chose i don't well you could put like your pattern with my pink i don't like the pattern because it just looks weird um do like, you like the colors like you chose right yeah i love it so comment below what color you like the best, if you think we did a good job, who you thought, like which one you think looks the best. Mm -hmm. But they're super interesting. We It's enjoyable to do and I'm going to do another one right away. I'm going to make it longer and I'm going to do a couple of different different ones. This one feels the best. Like if I was a dog, I'd probably want to chew this one the best because it's thin. I want to do my next one thinner. But I like having like a thick one too. Alright, you're in charge of putting those away. Yeah, or these are gonna be for Molly's birthday. What is your birthday? Sunday. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you go. When I come back, you've heated up the south. Don't you know that you're beautiful?